Welcome. The mystery I want to unravel this evening is what aren't they telling us about negative sunspots? Perhaps you've never heard of them, but a lot of people are making a big fuss about them. One such person is Patrick Gerrells, who links them to a possible doomsday scenario of 2012, and we bring in the poor old Aztecs all over again. Well, what are negative sunspots, and why are they so important? Let's take a look and see what they've discovered. Well, here's the discovery. But sunspots that actually change their polarity over a period of time. They start off positive, go negative, and then go positive again. Hence the name negative sunspots. Here's an example of just one of these. The sunspot starts out as mixed polarity. A few days later, it's all one polarity, and then a few days after that, it's mixed polarity again. So this is a sunspot that's changed its polarity, defying our understanding of how sunspots work. So what explains this strange phenomenon? Well, the first thing you need to know is Mr. Gerrells is not a scientist. He's an author, and is keen to sell more books. And he doesn't understand what he's looking at. I'm going to show you what's really going on. What we're looking at are magnetic images of the sun. And to understand what is happening, you need to understand how a magnetograph works. That's an instrument that takes pictures of the magnetic field of the sun. The principle it uses is the Zeeman effect. Some lines in the solar spectrum are sensitive to magnetic fields such that when the plasma that is emitting those lines, or absorbing those lines, is subject to a magnetic field, the lines split. And the separation of the two parts of the line is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. So if there are magnetic fields on the Sun, all we have to do is to look at these particular lines and measure their separation, and we know how strong those lines are. And that's how a magnetograph works. Sunspots are areas of very strong magnetic field, when the fields emerge through the photosphere, they diverge. So if you're looking down on top of a sunspot, you would see all the field coming towards you. So it would appear as a single unipolar spot, as shown in the upper left. However, if that sunspot is near the east limb, the main vertical fields are orthogonal to your line of sight, and you don't see them. The fields you do see are the ones that are diverging near the surface of the sun. So the ones on the near side of you are coming towards you, and the ones on the far side are going away. Thus the sunspot would appear dark on the near side and light on the far side, as shown in the inset in the upper left. But on the west limb of the sun, the situation is reversed. So again, the near side would appear dark and the far side would appear light. But this is exactly what these negative sunspots look like. So this is just merely an instrumental effect that people haven't bothered to find out about before they start coming up with these wild theories. But are there such things as negative sunspots? Well, let's first of all decide what a sunspot is. A sunspot is an area of magnetic field. It appears dark because it is cooler. Are there areas on the sun that are the opposite of a sunspot, i.e. are bright and hot? Well, it turns out there are. These are called faculae, and they've been known about for centuries. Interestingly, they actually more than compensate for the darkening due to sunspots. So they're actually emitting more energy than the sunspots are losing. So there you have your negative spots. And we didn't have to resort to looking at Mayan or Aztec calendars or whoever to forecast our doom in 2012. These are just a common phenomenon of the ordinary sun. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.